All right, so I have one of my packages that had me sitting here all day waiting on Amazon. And let's see which one this is. I got two things. This one right here. I'm excited. I'm gonna put Vic to work when he gets home. I don't think he know it yet, but we got a couple of things that we're gonna make some upgrades to the rig. And this was the other item I was waiting on. A RF, RKF. Hello guys. Hi everybody. Welcome back to another episode of us. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of us. So today we have a project. Well, I've created a project, but my good old handy husband here has agreed to go along with the project. So, upgrade beautification. Upgrade beautification. So what we're going to upgrade, and we're um, trying to get a couple things down before we go back out. But what we want, what we're wanting to upgrade is standby. Okay, so what you are seeing is actually we've replaced this um, shower head before, right? Mm -hmm. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. No, what I'm saying is we we replaced, we replaced it, it before because it was broken. Yes, well, we replaced the original one right? because it wasn't putting out any pressure at all. And I'm sure if you've been in your shower and you haven't changed it, you know about those cheap, you know about the <laughs> cheap shower heads that come with the RV. Unless you're getting some fancy class A, then it's a little bit different. But if you're just getting a little travel trailer, you know the ones I'm talking about. So this one right here has very good pressure. Very good pressure. It, it does, but what i'm wanting to do is to add a little couple changes personalize the rig for us so we're going to switch that out and then what we're going to switch out is the um the factory faucet yes it's the factory so um, I did see on a couple videos some folks have replaced the sink. Um, I don't think nothing's wrong with that sink. So it works for us, but I do want to add um, a special touch of ours to the faucet and the shower. So, so for, for the sink, uh, it, it's a little tight underneath there. Mm-hmm. Um, tools you may need pliers because you have to get all the way back up underneath here to loosen the, uh, the fittings okay. right okay so I have a very special tool that does that and I will show you that tool this tool right here is called tecton T E K T O N and this helps you to get up underneath the sink in those tight corners and the way this works is this folds down like this and you have to open this up yourself to get it on to the, uh, the fitting but once it locks on you can tighten or mm -hmm. you flip it over and then open and put it on there and you loosen. Mm -hmm. So this helps you out. Instead of you trying to get your fingers up there mm -hmm. and not knowing if you got it tight enough because then you're gonna have a leak. This takes care of that. I also have plumber tape. Oh, and you can get this at Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, uh, Menards. Uh, the price usually runs 20, 20, 30 bucks. Also, this is called plumber's tape, and you put this around the threads, and this uh, creates a tight seal when you're putting the fittings together. This is another way to make sure that you don't have any leaks. So. 
cup. That's it. So, I'm about to get started. Showing you the items that came in the mail that Corinne ordered. <laughs> so, which one is this? Oh. So, this is what she ordered. These are the lines that came with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to replace the lines. Uh, I will see. But, this is what she's ordered. And then, I'm going to check this out also. See if I'm going to replace this item. Um, I will see as I go along. So, this is the, the faucet. And over here, is the shower the, uh, hose connection. And then we have the shower head. It looks pretty good. So we'll find out how the pressure is. We'll let you know how that is. So. Let me get started, and I'll show you the end product afterwards. I'm going to do shower first. Shower's real simple. Get that done first. Okay, so first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to remove this old piece right here. This is what the shower head itself fits inside. So there are two screws that hold that up, and we'll take them out. I have a template that this will be going up in its place and all I'm going to do is where the screws are up here put them right in here and this is where this housing will slide and lock into so we'll see we'll see how this comes out so be right back so, here is the old piece that came off. There are two screws that I had to take off, and I already put the new piece on up here. The holes lined up perfectly. Next, I'm going to do put the new holes on. Well, this is the holes that's on there right now, kind of a uh, plastic, you know, but does the job. So, you need to place that. And that just twists off down here at the bottom. And you can do that hand tight. So, I will be back after I get that done. Okay, I got the bottom piece of the holes on. The second piece is going to connect to the shower head. Now, you want to put plumber's tape on the threads here and the way you want to do that is you see how this is going to screw in which is it tightens to the right and I think the saying is tighty righty lefty loosey so in other words you turn it to the left it loosens up turn it to the right it tightens up so when you put your plumber's tape on you want to put the plumber's tape on so it turns to the right. That way, if this goes on top of that, it screws and tightens it up. So that's what we're about to do. Here is the plumber's tape. And we're going to put it on there. Get it. And take it around. Yeah. Good to go. Then we're connected. And don't over tighten, just tighten it up enough. just enough. Alright. 
comes right back. And here is the finished product. Okay, so now on to the sink. I have my Tech Ton, T E K T O N, tool available so that I can get up underneath the sink here and loosen up the um, the fittings, the connections. So I'm going to do that. Once I get the connections done, I should be able to lift up the the uh, faucet to put in the new one. So, oh, and you want to make sure that your water is uh, off, which we don't have any water uh, going through the uh, supply lines. So. You just kind of open them real quick, make sure there's no water in them, which we don't have any, and then uh, we're going to take them off. We'll be right back, show you what I did. Okay, so this is what I what I did. I found an easier way to kind of get, get this, to get to it, and um, there are five, four, four clips. These four clips here that holds the sink down. You have to take them off from underneath. Um, I also took loose the connectors that feed the water into the uh, faucet. And then once I got that done, I took off these. These are connected to the bottom, the uh, pipe fittings that goes through the sink to the bottom then you connect these first to tighten up against the uh, um, the wood and the faucet tightens that up and then you would connect the fittings for your uh, water supply but what I did was I took off these brackets four of them disconnected the uh, water fittings then took off those uh, screw clamps, if you want to call them that. That way, I can lift this out. I can also take this out. And I also loosened up the uh, connector here. So if you ever want to replace your sink, you can do it that way. But you also have to look at the size. You have to take a measurement and everything like that. I just found it a little bit easier for me to get to uh, get all this stuff taken care of, taken, taken out, and now I'm getting ready to put in the new one. So I'll be back. Okay, so this piece here comes with it, goes in like this, and then you put this down on your sink here. Here's the finished product for the sink. Next, the way I'm going to uh, check for leaks underneath is I'm going to uh, put water in the fresh water tank, maybe about halfway, and then we'll turn on the pump and uh, see to make sure we have no leaks. Hey everybody. We're back. We are back and we are back to share the finished product. Yes, got to do a uh, water leak check, mm -hmm. and then that's it. Everything's installed. Just got to do a little water leak check. At the right. very end of the video, make sure you stay tuned to the end, because we'll have before and after uh, pics of both. So, stay tuned to the end. Looks like right here. I don't have the pump on, but we're going to run that. And then we'll check for any leaks or anything like that. And as you can see, we have no leaks whatsoever. <laughs> so we well, that's all, a good thing. That's right? a good thing. Yeah. So we are all done. And I really like this faucet because this was the one of the reasons why I got it is for that swivel. You like it? And plus, it has this curve, which kind of raises it up a little bit. So that you're not washing down here, you yeah. can, you know. It, it makes a little bit of a difference, believe it or not. So, 
if you're in the market for a faucet, a switch out, the switch out, you wouldn't say was too hard? No, it's a little tight up underneath, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's everything was hand tight, tightened. I wanted to use the tool, which is a uh, tecton, but um, I wasn't able to use it. I was actually able to just tighten it with my fingers, mm -hmm. and um, you you got to do a little bit of stretching, but that's it. Good. All sinks may be different. You may have more space in. Let's say, for example, Class A, the sink may be a little bit bigger, or uh, the Class C's. Yeah. So, but it's very simple to do. That's it. Then <laughs> we have the shower, which isn't hard. All I did was take off the old one. It gives you a rubber mat to put on here. The mat was actually squared. And I cut it off so that it wouldn't be sitting uh, out out like that. And that's a pretty nice uh, shower head. And think? it does have good pressure. Well, so. yes, indeed. So we are pleased with our latest upgrade to the rig. Um, the shower is nice. Um, we wanted to kind of switch out to the uh, black color because it has some other areas in here that are black so we just like black better we are done yes. and everything was a plus and it wasn't that hard y'all so if you want to change out your faucet go for it yep absolutely all right guys until next time and i'm corinne and we, we are, are the real weekend warriors, warriors.